Hey YouTube, it is Midfi Guy. We're not gonna discuss audio today, we're, we're discussing bikes and this little guy, Rocky. So I wanna go biking with him and you, uh, a lot of people think you need a dog trailer for that. You don't, you just need a nice little rack and a basket from Axiom. Um, maybe there's other baskets, but Axiom's the only one I found that uh, has like a quick release kind of deal. But let's try it on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And here's the basket itself. You can see with this little handle, it has the leash clip inside. You can chain your pooch in there so it doesn't jump out. Um, it has these, I don't know, these protective kind of uh, barriers. So I guess if you have groceries in there, you can just kind of trap them in there. I don't think that's for a dog, but you know, there's that. And the best part about this basket is, I'll show it, Let's flip it on its bottom. It's these, these clips that are so easy to take on and off your rack. So, you know, you just take the handle here, press it out, and it'll give you leeway to put it on your rack. Then you just let it close and it'll tighten on your rack. Um, at first, I thought this was not very uh, sturdy or, you know, if, if there were some safety concerns. But I'm telling you, it grasps so tight on your rack that you don't have to worry about it. But I'll show you uh, something you could do for safety later. And this is the uh, front mount if you want to mount it to the front of your bike. Uh, I personally do not recommend mounting this to the front of your bike because it just jiggles so much. There's less support if it's just hanging on by this versus from the bottom. Um, but <laughs> my dog actually did like, pref he preferred being on the front just so he can get a full picture of where he was going versus being behind you. And if you want some clout, if you like getting attention, I did get a lot more uh, comments with having a dog on the front of my bike versus the back. So if you're some annoying YouTuber like me, then you may want them on the front. But again, for the dog's comfort, I recommend on the back. So the bottom of the basket is really nice. It has this padded little bottom for your pooch, but I go a step further. This is his favorite blanket. I just put it in here as a bottom layer, use these little clips with the hinges on it to make it stay down. And there, you got your ni yourself a nice little bed slash basket for your pooch. Okay, let's put it on. And I personally prefer to have this little lip uh, facing out. So in case my pooch is uh, laying down, this lip is like his little window so he can see over it to see what's behind him. But again, we want to take these clips and extend them so it fits perfectly on our little top rack here, the top rail. And it's very important to note this. Um, well, let me take it off so I can show you. But you want a, a bike rack with two rails. The first one holds the basket, and the second rail here, the lower rail, can hold your panniers, 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 however you say that. But uh, this was a pain point for me because I was struggling to figure out how I could do that with my old rack. It just wasn't compatible. What I ended up doing was attaching my panniers here and clipping them there so they would like kind of go in a v-shape from the back and that was not stable at all so i don't recommend that so get yourself a compatible rack i'll link it all in the description okay now i'll kind of show you how you can stabilize or add some safety to your rear bike rack but you want to get a little grappling hook like this stability wire whatever it's called it's pretty short you can see you can wrap it around your seat post once you can actually bring it through. There's some little slits there in the basket, but that's how that works. And it gives you some stability in case you feel like this is gonna fall off or anything like that. If it's too loose, you can wrap it around your seat post one more time. Uh, this is not the one I use. The one I use is a, in a, another pannier somewhere, but just to give you an example of how you can uh, further stabilize this. All right, we flipped our bike around. I wanted to show you how to put a pannier on, but uh, we flipped it around because if you have a kickstand, you, your bike's going to lean to the left, let's say, and you want your pannier on the opposite side, especially if you have one. If you have two, you should always um, put the, the right pannier on first anyway. So we're going to attach the right one on here just to show you how the dual rail system works. Silly me, I forgot I have to take the basket off first. You want to have the basket off before you install the uh, panniers. So here we have... Uh, I got this off Amazon. I don't know the brand name offhand, but I'll, oh, Iberia, Ibera. But it has this uh, excellent quick lock mechanism. You just have to adjust this. 
Um, but you know, you just quick lock on and off. It's super simple. Let's put it on now. There you go. Simple like that. So you see the dual rail and this is actually a low profile one. This is what I wanted. It allows for the basket to go on top here. So let's put on the basket. Yep, got it all on one, one try. So that's the general gist of it. And let's zoom out just so you can see how it looks all together. My beautiful Trek, 12 year old bike, still works great to this day. Uh, and my pooch loves going with me on a ride with this thing. Let's get some shots with him inside of it. Okay, this is gonna be the tricky part, but remember you have your pannier on the opposite side of your kickstand, so that acts like a counterbalance, especially if you have a, you know, a heavy U-lock in there or something. So you can put your pooch in, even though the bike's leaning to its left, you have a heavy pannier on your right, and that kind of offsets the, the weight. So let's put Rocky in right now. So here's my pooch, Rocky. He's a four-year-old Maltese, and he loves his bike rides. Let's put his butt in the opposite way. This is where he likes to sit. Take the, uh, the leash here, put it on his little, his little collar or harness, and there you go. You got yourself a bike-ready dog. Uh, another thing to note about this, at first, if your dog is not used to this, they, at least mine was, it got really scared and it, it, well, it didn't appreciate it at all. But now after a few months, say two or three months, whenever I get my bike down off the, uh, the wall, off the bike rack, then he immediately jumps for joy and he tries to, uh, tries to see me get the basket and tries to go inside of it immediately. So the dogs in general, even if they're scared at first, let them try it for a bit. Um, go in the back, it's, uh, it's, it's less of a bumpy ride, but uh, I'm pretty sure that they'll get used to it and they'll end up loving it.